if you feel like you have failed at music and you feel like you're never gonna actually get to where you wanna go, this is the perfect video for you because I know exactly what you feel like, my friend. I know what you're going through. With this channel, I have plo with this channel at this point, I have uploaded close to 170 videos and I have still not hit my goal of a thousand subscribers. That was my goal for the longest time, to hit that by a certain point. My initial goal was to hit it by September 1st of 2023 didn't hit that I was about I think at like 380 at that point then wanted it to be uh, October 1st of 2023 barely cracked 400 at that point then I wanted it to be November didn't hit it wanted it to be December didn't hit it and now approaching January of 2024 I still haven't hit that goal and every time I always set that goal I'm like anticipating and willing to work hard for it and really looking forward to it and as the days grew closer I always felt this sense of almost shame that I didn't hit that goal and it didn't really hit me until this point of uploading this many videos and working this hard at it and always being willing to push that goal back that I just completely decided to obliterate that goal and have that time period of in that time period because the thing is if you're young like I am, I'm only 18, if you're still working at music and you feel like you failed or you haven't hit a goal like I have, I have missed this goal four times now, but and I've barely just cracked halfway there. But the thing is, time is a constraint that we place on ourselves because we think it's the end of the world if something doesn't happen for us by this certain date. We think that we have to hit it by this certain date or we have to be able to do this by then. And if we can't, we feel like a failure because naturally we just think that we place so much importance on our goals and it feels so bad when we don't hit them because we're putting too much pressure on ourselves and we feel like we're a failure simply by our own standards. The world hasn't ended since I didn't hit a thousand subscribers. Nothing has necessarily changed. And the reason why I have decided to get rid of that time frame for this goal is because time is really only a human concept that I don't think it has any benefit for us, at least in terms of accomplishing our goals. All it does is it forces a lot of people and it makes a lot of people want to quit because they want to have this goal done by this period or I'll start this this time like I'll start this next year or I'll do this whenever but the thing is with time time's always going to keep going and the only time you actually really fail is when you decide to stop doing something it's when you decide to quit and as long as you keep being consistent with something and you never decide to give up you never really fail. Failure is only, in terms of what I believe, you only really fail when you decide to and when you decide to quit. Because every failure and every time I haven't hit that goal of getting to a thousand subscribers, I've always gotten better. My videos have even gotten, has, have either gotten better, I've either got more articulate at speaking, I've learned a new lesson, I've still got more subscribers, I've still been gaining. All I've been doing throughout that time is failing forward and now, I don't necessarily have a thousand subscribers yet, but eventually I'm gonna get there because I made it to 500, I made it to 400, I made it to 300. What's stopping me from doing that again? And now I am better prepared to do that so I can do it faster. And the thing is, in terms of time and in terms of just life in general, we always think that right now matters the most. But the thing is, you have so much time if you are young like I am. I'm 18 currently. And I've been traveling throughout New Zealand and I really kind of started to think that it was a big deal that I hadn't gotten to my goal yet and I hadn't hit it yet. But then when I was talking to a lot of people who I've met at this trip who are a lot older than me, not necessarily a lot, but who mostly are 23, 24, 25, and they're still, still working on goals and there's, they have similar goals to, that I do, whether it be in their career and whatever they're trying to push for and they're working on that right now and they're still going through the same thing. They haven't hit that goal and they, a lot of them will talk about like, oh, I wanted to do this by this age and I didn't get it done, so now I'm doing it now. But the only thing that's stopping you from doing your goal or the only pressure that's coming from you and that feeling of failure, it's all from yourself. It's from you believing that you needed to do something by that date. But time is only a constraint that you put on yourself. You have pretty much all the time in the world now. With that being said, 
that's not saying you should just procrastinate and put stuff on off till the next year but as long as you're willing to keep being consistent over a long period of time whether that's with your music or constant content you're trying to upload you are going to get somewhere you are going to get to where you want to go as long as you can stay consistent if i upload a video a day for the next five years eventually i'm going to get to a thousand subscribers whether that happens tomorrow or in the next year or whenever it happens is simply up to the algorithm and simply not necessarily luck, but just whenever the videos start to pick up traction. I believe that the videos that I'm upla uploading are able to help people and I've received a lot of comments that these videos are, are helpful for you and they are making a difference and as long as that is happening and as long as I enjoy doing these, why should I quit? Simply because I didn't hit that goal yet. And it's good to have a mindset where you want to work hard and you're ambitious towards your goals but you can't let your goals define you you can't let failure simply dictate when you quit or the feeling of failure dictating like like you quit if you have to restart something it's not necessarily that you have to start all over again think of it like you're at a better place and now you're equipped to do it better every time I've had to reset that goal or push that goal of getting a thousand subscribers back. I've always been better equipped to go and reach it the next month. Yes, I haven't gotten there yet, but eventually it's going to come as long as I'm able to stay consistent and keep pushing forward. With that being said, if you don't know already, my name is Colby Wallace, um, 18 year old artist from Canada. If you like original music, like videos like this where I give you advice about how to move forward with your music and how to improve yourself as a musician. Might as well subscribe, don't have much to lose. If you wanna join my free community on how to improve your songwriting, link for that is down in the description. And uh, with that being said, never stop creating my friend and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.